Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to go back to our shop. We're going to talk about this uh, printhead lock, uh, what it is, and uh, how to troubleshoot it, and uh, how you can install a new one if you have to. Uh, if you need the parts, uh, you can go to eBay or you can go to uh, our site bchtechnologies.com and go to printer parts. And under Epson, you should see the printhead lock. The printhead lock is a piece of plastic that uh, uh, prevents the printhead moving towards left. A common way to unlock it is turn the power on. As soon as you see the lock moves, you will cut the power off. See, it has re released. And this is how the printer powers off. Uh, this piece of plastic is easily to get damaged. Because the printhead is moving at a high speed, if you get uh, not synchronized, the printhead might strike the, this plastic. Also, doing a paper jam, you may be fighting the printer and uh, damage this uh, plastic. Let me show you how it works. The lock is right here, and uh, it is controlled by those two gears. Uh, if you see that the bulge on the bigger uh, wheel, uh, that bulge is what pushed the lock to be in position to lock the printhead. When you buy from BCH, you get a lock and uh, you get a little spring. The spring connect those two hooks so it can put the lock back in unlock position. When the big wheel turn on the big bulge, that will push the lever and lock the printer. Anytime that bulge is not in there, and the spring will will pull the lever back, so it's most time is unlocked. The power to turn those gears are from the left side of the printer, and uh, it turn this rod that connects to this small wheel. And this small wheel is going to connect to this wheel, small wheel right here. However, uh, you, can, you can see I'm turning the wheel counterclockwise, but the printhead doesn't move at all. See, no matter how I turn this wheel, that bulge doesn't move at all. This wheel is split into two parts. The bottom part, which is controlled by the lock, never turns. No matter you go clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter, no matter how many times you turn. The reason is there's a lock right here. See, the, see this stick? If it goes into the wheel, this one doesn't 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 move at all. So you need to move the to the to your right a little bit to release this inner wheel. So now it's turning, okay, turning, turning. What we need to do is we need to move this to to the right a little bit. Now if you turn it uh, counterclockwise, it's going to lock the printhead. If you turn it clockwise, it will release the lock. So let's uh, do on a real printer. So we're going to turn this wheel counterclockwise by pulling on the cables. It's unlocked. Okay, now I'm going to turn the power on. So um, you can watch the wheel turning and the, and the dot lock, how that lock works. Uh, to decide as uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, you can pay attention to this little wheel, and it does exactly the same direction of the bigger wheels uh, turning. I forgot to say is uh, another uh, lock malfunction is caused by the wear and tear. You got two pieces of plastic uh, pushing against each other. Also have that little spring that can also get uh, loose.
So with this knowledge, you will be able to install a printer lock and test it. Be careful of this little spring. I don't know how many springs I have lost. I'll put a spring on the lock first. Then I'll loop it through the, the black hook on the base. It's better to make the small spring loaded. So I'll uh, put it in the lock position. I'll use the piece of a rubber band to help me to put the lock. Here's what the assembly looks like. And I'm going to slide in. Uh, pay attention to that little wheel. Make sure that the little wheel is connected to the assembly and can transfer the power to the assembly. When you hear a click, and uh, you can remove the rubber band. Let's test it. Erected. How about that? Now you can brag about your printer lock to your neighbors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.